good morning students uh, today we will be discussing the topic water again it is a long note and very important topic from your final year uh, point of view uh, the concept medical concept or uh, the biomedical concept psychosocial concept ecological concept this reveals that the equilibrium when they are in equilibrium then the person is said to be healthy but there is maladjustment of any one of this concept will lead to a disease thus water for maintenance of good oral health we need a clean and safe uh, safe water for maintenance of life for maintenance of good health for maintenance of good oral hygiene for tooth brushing for maintenance of our personal hygiene we need a water thus the water plays a very important and vital role in our day to day life coming to the portable water it's defined as the one which is free from pathogens free from chemical substances free it's a pleasant to taste free from old color and odor and useful for domestic purposes other daily requirement is 2 to 3 liters per head per day per capita means in a family it is uh, around 200 liters of water is required for all domestic purposes uses of water domestic uses you can use for drinking water for uh, bathing for cleaning everything uh, we need uh, the wa water public purposes for street cleaning for fire protection we will you, know, you we will need the water for industrial purposes in the factories we will need the water agriculture for irrigation purpose there is requirement of water this water is very useful then there comes to sources of water in the hydrological cycle they can say there are three main sources rain uh, surface water that is reservoirs lakes and everything and ground water Groundwater can be obtained through deep wells and springs. Coming to the definition of wells, shallow wells and deep wells, there is an impervious layer in the uh, land. The water above this impervious layer is called as uh, shallow wells. It is uh, tap soil water. From this above, uh, above of the impervious layer, the soil, the water which is below this impervious layer are derived from deep wells. Chemical quality, it is moderately hard, uh, shallow wells water and deep well water is much harder. Hardness of water is can be defined as the one which has the destroying capacity of the soap. Uh, causes are calcium carbonate, calcium sulphate and magnesium sulphate are the cause uh, that the water's uh, hardness depends. Uh, the classification of hardness of water, you can consider, uh, you can see that soft water is below when that is uh, 50 milligram per liter when very hard is above 6 that is 300 milligram of liter drinking water should be moderately hard and softening of water is recommended when the hardness exceeds 3 milliliter coming to the disadvantages consumes more soap and detergents on eat on eating carbonates get precipitate to adversely affect the cooking not can be used for domestic purposes it shortens the life of uh, pipes and the fixtures Coming to the special treatment, the hardness can be removed through boiling, addition of sodium, uh, sodium carbonate. Permanent hardness can be removed by exchange of, uh, uh, by a base exchange process or by addition of sodium carbonate. Purification of water, uh, there are two types. First is uh, water on the large scale and it is done on a small scale. Coming to purification of water done on a large scale, it is consists of three steps that is storage, filtration and disinfection. Coming to the storage, uh, in the method, uh, it's a natural method of purification. Physically, if you store a water, 90% of the, its uh, uh, particles will settle down due to the gravity. It allows the penetration of sunlight and reduces the work of filters. And whereas the chemical process, uh, the aerobic bacteria oxidize organic matter resulting in the free ammonia. Biological pathogenic organism gradually die when the water is stored physically. Uh, the other, here are 89 and then the filtration, uh, the next process after storage there is filtration about here 98 to 99 percent of the bacteria are removed there are two types of filters so rapid sand filters and slow sand filters slow sand filters were st uh, started in scotland the elements are supernated raw water is removed uh, bed of graded sand the uh, sand particles are about uh, two to three uh, in size, uh, 2 to 3 mm in size, the water is slowly passed through them for 1 or 2 hours. It will gradually uh, stop the or it will gradually inhibit the impurities. Uh, and an under drainage system can be done. The systems of uh, filter control walls can be used. Supernatant raw water, the depth is around 1 to 1.5 meters. Constant head is uh, of uh, 
to overcome the resistance of the filter bed and provide downward flow of the water. Waiting period is about 3 to 12 hours. Then there is sand bed, the one, it is 1 meter cube of filter representation. Uh, filter represents surface area of 15,000 square meters, 1 mm thick. And the green is 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 mm. The, it it, uh, it uh, works on the process of uh, uh, mechanical straining, sedimentation, adsorption, oxidation and bacterial action. Filtration rate is about 0 0.1 to 4, 0.4 uh, meter cube per hour per square meter of sand bed layer. The vital layer heart of the the vital layer is the heart of slopes and filters. It removes organic matter, old wax, bacteria, helps in yielding water free bacteria. The under drainage system below the bed of gravel consists of perforated pipes function which serves as an outlet of filtered water supporting the medium above. Filter cleaning carried out by unskilled laborers and can be 20 to 30 scrapings of sand bed will have to reduce 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 meter. Advantages are simple to construct, cost is cheaper, it is cost effective and hysteria polar total bacterial counts uh, can be reduced to 99.9% to and hysteria polar by 99 to 99.9%. Then comes to your rapid or mechanical sand filters. It is first uh, developed in USA in the year 1885. Gravity type and pressure type are the two types. The procedure, the first is filtration. Alum flock uh, not removed by sedimentation is held back by sand and it forms a same layer. There is oxidation of ammonia in this. Filters get clogged with the impurities leading to loss of head. When it reaches to 7 to 8 feet, it cleaned by backwashing. Backwashing should be done daily or weekly accomplished by 15 minutes of reversing the flow of water which dislodges impurities and cleans the sand. Compressed air can also be used for backwashing. Advantages are deals with raw waters directly, no preliminary storage needed, more flexible to the op for the operation. These are the comparison between uh, slow sand filters and rapid uh, sand filters uh, and rate of filtration is 5 to 15 meter uh, cube whereas in slow sand filters there is as compared to uh, rapid sand filter it is slow uh, the removal of bacteria in both are almost same that is 98 to 99 percent rapid sand filters and 99 to 99.9 percent .9 in slow sand filters chlorination chlorination it kills the pathogenic organism but it has no effect on the spores of certain viruses oxidizes iron and aids in coagulation of the water uh, Here is the action when the chlorine is added in the water it forms hydrochloric acid plus hy uh, hydrochlorous uh, acid. Now this uh, HCl uh, it uh, reduces by ionization and then this hydrochlorous acid will form an hydrogen ion and hydrochlorous acid. Principles of chlorination the water should be uh, clear and free from turbidity estimated chlorine demand of the water is needed. Chlorine demand of water it is the amount of chlorine that is needed to destroy a bacteria and oxidize all organic matters. Breakpoint chlorination is the point at which the chlorine demand of the water is increased or it is met. The contact period in the chlorination of water should be around 1 hour. The concentration of 0.5 mg per litre should be maintained. Methods of chlorination can be done through gas, chloramines and perchlorons are the three uh, methods of for disinfection uh, chlorine is applied. Chlorination methods, breakpoint chlorination and superchlorination can be done. Other agents used are oz ozonation. Disadvantage of this ozonation is uh, it requires a dosage of 0 0.2 to 1.5 mg per litre. Uh, it can be done through ultraviolet radiation, the exposure of film of uh, water 120 mm thick free from the turbidity. Purification of water on a uh, uh, small scale can be done through boiling. Boiling of the water will reduce uh, the bacteria and the viruses whatever present in the it will make a pleasant to taste and it will be free from all the pathogens. Whereas chemical disinfection, bleaching powder or chlorinated lime can be used and chlorine solution can be used. Test uh, High test hypochlorate or perchloron can be used for small scale uh, filtration of water and chlorine tablets in the form of hal halogen tablets are used. Chemical disinfection can be done through iodine and potassium permanganate whereas filtration via ceramic filters and by UV filters can be done. 
disinfections of well can be done by calculating we have to measure the depth uh, depth of the well and the radius of the well the, then the uh, take the average of several readings whatever the average we take uh, whatever the readings we take the average of that reading is taken then this formula by this formula we will get the, to know how much amount of bleaching powder should be added in that using Herox apparatus we are 2.5 gram is required for a thousand liter of water that is 0.7 milligram of uh, water not more than 100 gram of bleaching powder is placed in the bucket and it is made uh, bleaching powder is placed in the bucket it is little bit of water add, uh, is added it is made thin and this bucket is placed at the bottom of the uh, well now this slowly the bleaching powder will release and it will purify the water uh, the contact period should be one hour before the water is uh, the contact period that the placement of bleaching powder in the bucket which we have placed at the bottom of well should be placed for one hour this uh, the other method is double pot method it is used in national engineering environmental research institute of nagpur uh, two cylindrical pots are placed uh, and placed inside the other the pot uh, the outer pot height should be around 30 to 35 uh, centimeters respectively one centimeter hole is made a mixture of 1 kg of bleaching powder and 2 kg of our ores double pot is then lowered to a 1 meter below the surface of water the device works satisfactorily for 2 to 3 weeks for well contain uh, about uh, 4500 liters sand having a raw draw rate of 360 to 450 liters per day these are the other methods of defluoridation water uh, if there is excess presence of uh, fluoride in the water, it can be done through deep fluoridation. Nalgonda technique is most commonly used uh, in deep fluoridation. Uh, this, with this, uh, we will come to a conclusion. The provision of good water supply does not itself secure freedom from the waterborne disease. People must recognize safe water as felt health need and give up their old hygienic habits. Thus, water plays uh, again a very vital role in our day-to-day -day life. So preservation of water is again very much important for, for, to maintain our health. This end with this we will come to the end of our lecture. Thank you.